Studio 9 presents the Ultimate Football Guide. With your hosts, Colin Deaver and Sam Guzman. The Ultimate Football Guide highlights UTEP and NMSU football with exclusive interviews with its head coaches, players, and high school football. The Ultimate Football Guide spotlights this year's fine nine players to watch and a look at this year's matchups. We also let you know where to pick up your own copy of the Ultimate Football Guide. Joining us now from UTEP football, head coach Dana Dimmel, defensive end, Praise Omehule. Now, guys, uh, I'll start with coach. Obviously, you know, coming off the bowl game last year, really high expectations, a little bit disappointing, five and seven finish. But now you're in a spot maybe you kind of like a chip on your shoulder, flying under the radar. Is, is that a comfortable spot for you guys as a football yeah, team? Yeah, I feel like we feel comfortable, you know, as an underdog. But we feel like we got a, a really good team coming back, a really athletic team coming back. And we're looking forward to the season. And, you know, we got a tough schedule and some really tough early games, a lot of games real quickly in the season, play a bunch of games in a real short time span, so looking forward to that. Praise, do you like having a chip on your shoulder coming into a season, uh, you know, like you do this year, where maybe people are not saying the as positive things as they were last year about you guys? Absolutely, you know, you always love being the underdog. You know, growing up as a kid, I was love seeing all these underdog movies and then just seeing them come out on top at the end. So it feels good to be just being doubted. Conference USA looks much different this year than it did last year. Um, what do you think of the new look league coach and also playing some Wednesday games this year? Yeah, you know, I thought last year our conference was really, really good. The addition of the teams that we have coming in, they're going to be really salty, athletic football teams that we have to play. And so it's going to be a, a big test for us. And then, of course, the Wednesday games, like we talked about earlier, Con, I'll like them if we win, right? <laughs> That's how I'll judge them. <laughs> Offensively last year, uh, Gavin up and down maybe a little bit, but you do have a lot of pieces back. I love your offensive line. Obviously, the running back position is stacked and you get Tyron back as a wide receiver. With all those pieces in place, how can maybe Gavin take a, another step in his last year as a starter? Yeah, I think, you know, and I'm going to work with him a little bit more, you know, firsthand. And so I think that's going to make a big difference. He's a very, very talented player. I'm looking for him to have an outstanding season for us. Obviously, you talked about we, we have, you know, one of the best lines in college football, you know, ranked one of the best offensive lines in college football and some really talented receivers that were young last year I think are going to shine to complement Tyron as well. And you're doing a little bit more within the quarterback room this year, aren't you? Yes, I'm going to be more involved in the quarterback room for sure, and uh, I think that's going to help. I think it's important for a play caller to get more involved with the quarterbacks, and I think, you know, obviously I was trying to do a lot of the administrative things, but in year six, that stuff's kind of flowing pretty smoothly right now, so I think I could spend more time with, with Gavin and the X's and O's. Sure. Praise defensively, a lot of depth back, obviously. No uh, Jadrian Taylor on the other side for you on the sure. defensive line, but so much depth there. What do you like most about this unit? I just love the way we play together as a team, you know, and just having our coach, Coach Pivido, just bring us together, you know, year in and year out. Just the, the, the energy it brings to the team just, it just makes it good to play play for him. You've been here since 2019. What are your expectations for yourself and your, your last year of eligibility here for the free set? Whatever to, to just help make the team win, you know, come out on top each and every game, just go out there and just play minor defense, play hard and play physical, you know, that's always the goal. Obviously, uh, New Mexico State, big rivalry game. Now it's a conference game. Does that add anything else to it? Yeah, it's exciting because, you know, at the end of the year, we always get a chance to go to a conference championship game. So hopefully we just do our best whenever we play against them to come out on top. Coach, what do you think about that, that now it's a big conference game too? Oh, it's cool for the city. You know, I think it's good for, it's really good for New Mexico State to get into our conference. I'm very proud of Conference USA, so I'm glad they're in it, you know, because again, you know, we have nothing against them. They're a rival team. Obviously, when, when we play them, we want to beat them, but I'm always pulling for anything that's associated with the city of El Paso. Gotcha. Lastly, I ask you this every year. We even joke about it. <laughs> Bowl game or bust for the Miners this year yeah. after going five and seven last year? Is yeah. that how you feel? Well, I feel this way. I feel like it'd be a heck of an accomplishment for us to do it two out of three years. It'd be the only time, only the second time in the history of the program, so there's a lot to play for. Dana Dimmel, Praise of Mayhoy. Guys, thank you so much for coming in. Yes, sir. Thank you.